It's a smoky day here in Montana. Ugh. Must be a big fire somewhere. Well, the wood pile is dwindling. So bringing you up to date on the pit greenhouse, wallapini, if that's what you want to call it. And we'll, you'll see, uh, you'll see what looks like we're building a Montana Stonehenge. Jim said that uh, they got it wrong. The historian Stonehenge was actually ancient people trying to build a greenhouse <laughs> out of stone. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet to the channel, please do so. And if you'd like, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. All right, our update showing uh, the completion of the platform or the entrance of our uh, wallapini and uh, made that a pressure treated wood. And I'll go ahead and put walls up around it. Uh, you can see the uh, columns we put together. We're going to be putting together a roof structure uh, on top of those nine columns. Another look at the columns here from on top of the uh, root cellar. Uh, you can see the construction. Those were posts that came up into the wall right there. Gabion baskets. Uh, we put, uh, I think, 10, 12 foot uh, high posts in the ground, and then built those baskets around them. And I went ahead and encased with these columns around those posts. Uh, so that's like two by eights wrapped around the post. And then uh, I've got a two by 12 on the back side. Uh, on top here will be two two by 12 sandwiched together and I'll stitch them together with screws. And that will be the header that carries the trusses. All right, here's our trusses that we're going to be using, our web trusses. You can see that they're floor trusses and uh, we're doing that intentionally. Uh, we're gonna put a single slope roof over the top of the wallapini on these columns we had talked about earlier. So, and, and with that header in place. And these trusses are 28 and a half feet long and um, they're about 18, 19 inches in width. So they'll definitely carry that, that load across there. We're just putting polycarbonate uh, on top. So, and then everything is painted white. I had Kim do all the painting for all the material and the trusses and try to use as much light reflection in the wallapini grow area as we can. All right, we've got 15 web trusses here and we'll be, uh, putting those on that south wall up to the north wall where we'll do that header. All right, we're at the south wall location now. And this is where the bottom of those trusses, those web trusses will be anchored to. And uh, we'll be using angle brackets to help support that, uh, those trusses as we install them. And then the top of those trusses will be on the top of that wall. There'll be a header up there that, two by 12s we talked about sandwiched and uh, we'll anchor them up there also. That's one of those uh, 12 foot posts that I put into the ground and stuck up there a couple three feet. Uh, that's exactly what we encased these columns with as you can see. Uh, just want to kind of give you a, a better look of just how we supported it. Uh, got a two baits right here on the side and you can see the kind of the anchor brackets we've been using. I stitched them in with uh, Torx screws. And I basically, all these columns I made, and, and uh, there's a tube of 12 on the back side goes on up. But uh, it's pretty solid. I used Torx screws in, in making these instead of nails because it seemed to be an easier installation for me doing it all myself. All right, we've got this platform here. We're gonna be building walls around it right here where you see this lumber stacked. I'm gonna have a 42 to 48 inch door. And uh, you can see kind of how this is in a wall going this way. Uh, I will do a post and pole from there on over. It'll be about 10 foot uh, space in there. That's gonna be for storage and, and possibly a nursery if we wanna get early starts on some plants in the spring, early spring. So we just thought we we're gonna have a lot of different items in this grow area, maybe to help uh, so it's not so uh, cluttered up, try to have kind of a storage here. But uh, 
this lean-to coming off of uh, the top here will be coming down probably about a oh probably 412 pitch you know, off that header so and it's only 10 foot wide this structure probably 10 maybe 12 foot high so we haven't decided on that yet but we'll be putting some posts on down uh, along through here probably on eight foot centers so thought we'd share what the, the plan is for this and uh, and like I said I've got to finish bringing this this uh, header on across here and I need to put a column right here on this corner you can see this uh, six by six post right next to it to help carry that header coming across onto uh, this uh, root cellar She found a gopher in there once. Maybe it was a rabbit, but anyway, she she thinks that now that's a like a Pez dispenser for gophers. So we have been trying to make this video. This is our fourth attempt at making this video because we had some really high winds here. And after two or three attempts, of making the video the audio was so bad all you could hear was <laughs> so even though it is a very smoky day currently there is no wind I hear a, I hear a truck approaching I got a delivery and I gotta head off the dogs because my Czechoslovakian Vilchik we had a delivery yesterday um, on some canning supplies, I ordered some labels and little Mr. Landshark decided that he wanted to open up the packages before we had a chance and oh, well, needless to say, labels are ruined. He had them strung all over the yard like he was toilet papering my house. It's a naughty little boy. But you're a good girl, aren't you? All right, well, thank you for tuning in and watching our channel. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I try to respond to any questions as soon as I am able to. And uh, appreciate your time and uh, happy building, happy gardening, and happy pit greenhouse wallapini build. <laughs>